Good evening. Tonight I wanted to talk about reflex ball training and I worked at it long enough to get a pretty good idea now about the, the process. How do we get here? So this is day 19 and I'm, I'm at the point where I can just kind of work it now, get out of the way, keep it juggling around. All right, so that's where I'm at. How did I get there? Here's my setup. I have a band that I bought online. You can also use a hat. So I got a hat with one tied on it. This one's a lot slower. This one takes a different process. So this one's real slow and easy. I can really get some good knuckle work going with it. This one here is a lot faster. So this band, if you notice, it's there's a lot more punching going on. It's a lot more lively. So the 3 8 band, is, in my opinion, better to start. This is just a piece of 3 8 elastic that you'd buy to sew into clothes. All right, how long do we want it? I like it hanging right about my belly button, okay? So they say, you know, from the wrist to the shoulder, but where from the shoulder, where from the wrist? If you put it on, it's hanging about your belly button or just a little below the belly button, you should be able to get started, okay? So here's what, Moki, go lay down. Maze, we'll lay down. Good guy, stay out of my way. All right, so here's what we're gonna do to start. This is very simple. It's hanging here. I'm just gonna take my hand, and I'm gonna tap it. That's it. Just tap it. Tap it. That's it. Don't hit it any harder than that. Pretty soon, you're gonna try and hit it twice. Just that hard. Just, just bump the thing. Just keep bumping it. It'll, it'll bump around. So. Pretty soon you want to get to where your head's up. See how my head's upright, my spine is upright. And then I'm just kind of looking down with my eyes to get it going. And you notice my head isn't down like this. Yeah, you'll see me doing this because I'll mess up. But the idea isn't to look down, it's to keep your head here. Let your eyes drift down and just catch the ball, okay? You don't want your head up to where the string's hanging on you. You can be out a little bit just so the string is kind of brushing right past your nose. Keep your weight sunk a little bit. You don't want to be up high like this. You don't want your feet together and you don't want your weight up. Spread your feet a little apart a little bit. Get a little bit of a base, about shoulder width. The rest of it, just don't worry about it. So then you just start juggling it like this. This might be all you do for a day or two or even longer. It doesn't matter. You just hook it on and then just kind of walk around a little bit, try and move follow the ball, and just, just get your knuckles to bump it. Just like that. And then when you can bump it pretty good with one hand and you start getting where you can juggle it a little, okay? once you get to that point, and don't worry, your fingers look like my thumb got caught in it there. That'll happen. You'll miss. But once you can do this about 15 times, okay, maybe 20 times, to where you can just juggle it with one hand, then you're going to go to the other hand. And it's going to be, you're going to do this kind of stuff and you'll miss the... And it'll get frustrating and it's like it's impossible. But within a day or two, you'll be you'll be doing this. Okay? And once you can do that, that's all it takes. And it takes no effort. Anybody who can stand up can do this. Remember to breathe. Remember to when you're concentrating on things to make sure you're breathing at the same time. I have to breathe right now in order to talk, so that, that makes things handy. But pretty soon you just start. Oh, I can bump it with that hand, now I can bump it with this one, and this is all you're gonna do. This might be day 10, it might be day 100, it doesn't matter. If this is all you're doing, you're doing something. And you notice, I'm not using good technique. I'm just making a fist, I make fists like this, I let my hands fold. If I'm fighting, I'm here, I'm not gonna be here. You know, I don't, I don't like the boxer stance, I don't like being that tight, I wanna build a wall with this. Try and keep those arms out away from you. When one arm goes down, the other comes up, and pretty soon you can just start juggling this thing. And, and after a bit, this is where you'll end up. And again, I've only been doing this for 19 days. I have not played with one of these prior to that ever. I have hit a lot of bags, and I've been in martial arts for most of my life. But this is new, so every time you get a new technique, it takes a while. And I'm not using my hips, I'm not using my shoulders, I'm not getting the right rotation into it all the time. 
But what I am learning to do is to move and to concentrate. It keeps my focus on something all the time. It's like when it's quiet and you get it going. It's like meditation. It's like therapy. And then when you really get going, you can step out of the way. You can start getting it going good enough. Throw up a block. You know, get get some get some blocks going. And then you get to where you can just step out of the way. Try to try to step out both directions. Not just one. And then you gotta move with it. Now, people who are more advanced in their Parkinson's, you might be able to stand up with one hand and a cane and go like this. Here's my cane. This is with me all the time when I'm not, you know, just in the house. And if you have to sit and get yourself a third leg even, sit and just, just bobble the ball like this. Learn to hit it. If you look down too far, it falls away from you. Bring your head back up, there's your ball again, okay? And then if you have to, okay, that's too much, switch. And you can just sit and work on it. So you can do this from a walker, you can do it from standing. If you can stand up, obviously that's gonna be your best bet. So, folks, that's really all there is to this reflex ball. I made my original one. You can order a kit online. It comes with these in it. This is one that's too heavy. It's too slow. I don't really care for it. This one, it's blue, so it's dark. In here against the dark wood, it gets lost too easy. So I went with the yellow tennis ball. I originally started with, the, when I went to the tennis balls, I went to this one, it's a kid's tennis ball. It's real soft. These, a regular tennis ball is real hard, it's heavier, and it, it really works the knuckles. I mean, when you're hitting your hand with this over and over, it gets to the point where you can get kind of sore. So you got some conditioning that needs to go on, where with the kids, which is real soft, you can go longer sooner. This particular band, comes with a kit I bought on Amazon that had that other ball and the blue tennis ball in it. Comes with extra bands like this, and I really like these. The, the black is a little faster. For learning, however, the 3 8 elastic that you can buy at any, any cloth or any, uh, you know, cloth store, fabric store, probably Walmart. I mean, everybody carries it. It's just 3 8 elastic. You punch a hole in a tennis ball as small as you can and push it through. And the, the way I build them, I have an old drill bit here. I'll show you. I take this drill bit. I have a little tool. I heat this up and I poke it through the tennis ball. So it goes pop, pops right through. I go to the other side, make sure it's lined up nice and straight. And I punch another hole, fairly small. Again, just the size of the elastic. And then I take this steel rod, this it's an old drill bit, and I hook the hook the elastic. Oh, let me grab the right one here. I take this elastic, lay it on there, and then I just tape it on real tight with black tape. And then I do, I come down and I run a layer of black tape as far as I can. I hook this piece, I lock it into my bench vise here, and then I just pull the ball over the top of it. Tie a knot on the other side. Pull it all the way through, tie and shove this through, pull the cord through, tie a knot, and it'll stay. If you want to build your own, it costs just a few dollars for the, the 3 8 elastic. Again, these, these black elastics, they're faster. It makes a quicker, um, more dynamic reflex ball. The 3 8 elastic, that will make a um, a, an easier ball to hit, an easier ball to get good with. And if you use the kid's ball along with the 3 8 elastic, this kid's ball along with the 3 8 elastic, that's a very gentle, easy setup to use if you want to build your own. If not, go online, look up Reflex Ball. They sell kits. They'll come with like four different balls in them, a bunch of extra product for you to put them together with. And uh, that's really all there is to it. So thank you for watching. Enjoy uh, practice. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Let me know. Thank you.